What's up, everyone? This is uh, Shell. I just wanted to stop in real quick. Hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Um, I have to, I'm just leaving town with, um, from singing this weekend. But I wanted to stop in and, and just um, mention to you guys um, another follow-up from what we were talking about one time um, a couple of months back when we were talking about taking the vaccine. And the reason I'm so adamant about it is because um, as you guys can see in my previous videos, I didn't care for the vaccine in the beginning because I didn't know enough about it and a lot of people didn't. We still don't know a lot about it. But we got these variants going on. We got the booster that's about to happen. Um, a pastor at the um, at my home church had been mentioning um, that they're going to get together and, and uh, help the community by doing a set. They're going to set up shop to uh, start vaccinating people who want to be vaccinated. And although it's not mandatory, it should kind of ring in your spirit and know that um, there's a lot of people that are that are dying from this variant more so than the vaccine itself. And we understand that there are people that have gotten sick, um, who have you know, vaccinated people have gotten sick, vaccinated people who have died. Um, but it's very rare. It's not as many people as the people who have been unvaccinated who have been dying from this. It's been really high rates and high numbers of people who unvaccinated people who have been dying from this. And my motto, and those of you who know my brand, the Violin Taylor brand, know my getwisdomwealthy.com blog um, talks about self-help. And my book, Supernatural is Normal, that talks about self-help. It's a self-help book. Um, it reminds us about spiritual healing, supernatural healing, physical healing, mental healing, and um, wisdom, and having wisdom. And that includes situations such as this. And this was way before, way before COVID-19, just uh, about three years before COVID-19 came, that we talked about how important it is for us to seek our doctors, um, to you know, because this is not advice, but to seek our doctors before making any decisions. Um, and a lot of the doctors are saying the same thing. A lot of them are uh, stressing COVID-19 um, vaccines. And I know we shouldn't say COVID-19 on the, uh, on, and I'll probably get de demonetized, but it doesn't matter. I, I really care about you guys. I care about people. And my pastor mentioned I was watching online just I just chimed in for a moment to hear what was going on and he, he mentioned um, situation where um, there was about 142 people somewhere um, locally in ICU um, and out of all the 142 people that were sick only seven of them were vaccinated the rest of them were unvaccinated and um, this pandemic is, is serious. We got this variant going on. And uh, I was at a, another um, church where I had to uh, minister with, sing through music and um, doing vocal coaching. And we were all masked up except for when we were singing. But we tried to make it, make an effort to stay um, apart, you know, tried to make an effort to clean up after we were finished so I'm just I just want to just you know stress to you guys how important it is to stay safe and stay healthy this thing is serious this this variant is worse than the first um, allegedly according to what um, CDC guidelines and regulations we have people that are you know constantly saying that this stuff is a lie but it's not a lie when you see in people dying around you. You may not have seen people dying around you, but I have seen and known people who were once with us who were not with us. And this was before the vaccine came out. And then now that the vaccine is out and a lot of um, a lot of the people who are vaccinated um, are the ones that are not um, having serious symptoms. Most of them are not having serious symptoms when they catch the, uh, the virus. So I just want to let you guys know that and remind you guys that it's not even about whether or not you catch it. 
that's not the part that we're uh, is, is talking about. We're stressing about what happens when you do catch it. And that's where a lot of people are confused or not, for some reason, not understanding that it's when you catch it, what happens? Are you more, are you sicker? Are you, are you, uh, you know, having, what are your symptoms? A lot of the vaccinated people, the symptoms are milder than the ones who are unvaccinated. So I just want to stress that to, to not is worry as much about the history of what we went through as a people, as black people, especially in the past, um, when we have people around us dying. And I know Jesus is our protector, but he also blessed us with wisdom. Um, a lot of people talk about the mark of the beast. I honestly don't experience this as the mark of the beast when you have a pestilence going on right now. According to the word of God, you have a pestilence going on. So we got to do what it takes to protect ourselves and our families because we're doing it for not just ourselves, but for the children that are around us who are not able to be vaccinated at a young age right now. Anybody that's under a certain age, under at the time it was 12, under 12, um, I don't know, depending on the state that you're in or if it is federal, what the guidelines now are, if they've increased the ages now. Um, to allow um, but from my understanding a lot of the young people are, are not able to be vaccinated right now and then you have I mean my thing is why is it so many if it's such an issue why is it so many people who have comorbidities um, that have low immune systems why are they the first ones to take the vaccine why are people going ahead and getting them first for the booster shot. Well, I mean, think about it. It's because they're the ones that, at high, that are at higher risk of catching this variant, this virus, and the regular virus. You know, any virus, not just this virus, but, but the COVID virus, the Delta, the, the Sigma Theta, whatever. <laughs> you know, all these different various versions of it. It's not just two versions. There are more than one version of this same, of this virus. And then you got to think about other viruses. You got to think about sicknesses, colds, you think, uh, flu, the flu shot, you know, and then people are getting pneumonia. So just think about this and think about the children, you know, um, in the schools and so on. And the fact that they don't have mass mandates in these places. So you have to consider these situations um, and, and do what you can to protect your children because other people are not going to protect your children for you. Um, so, you know, use the, use common sense, use the sense that God gave you. But I just wanted to, to rant. I wanted to throw that out there, um, out of love because, I, and, and clear up some things like that. Okay. So I just want to remind everybody that is that reportedly from what we are experiencing that, um, that does not mean that you cannot catch the virus. You can catch the virus. It is contagious, but the symptoms are milder when you have been vaccinated more so than if you're unvaccinated. Because a lot of the people, a majority of the people that we're seeing that have been getting sick and dying, a majority of them have been unvaccinated. That's what we have seen in these reports. And before the vaccine came out, people that I knew personally who have died from this virus, this virus is real, y'all. That's what my people that I love, my loved ones have been going through. And people, and also take your vitamins and eat right. You know, I'm not, this is not just a, um, this is not a, um, an advice thing. I'm talking from my own experience. I've been taking my vitamins, working out. You know, I don't eat right all the time, but taking my vitamins and I am eating right a majority of the time, the leafy greens and so on, the alkaline foods, but that doesn't, you know, mean that you cannot get sick or that you can't catch it if you are unvaccinated. There have been healthy people dying from this, guys, young people, anybody under 65, anybody under 50, there are people in their 30s and 40s even people in their 20s, people of all ages, y'all. So please, please, please 
pray about this situation and do the best you can to protect your families. I love you guys. Y'all take care. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Just know that I'm about being healthy, healed, and whole. And I stress that you guys continue to stay safe, stay healthy, stay healed.